Hi everyone. Welcome. I have found one of my new favorite spots. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. Um, this is now my second random video. This is where I will be making more videos um, from the heart without much of a script or anything, just whatever thoughts or experiences come to my mind, I want to record a short video and share it. <sighs> so I'm taking a moment to just listen, listen to all of this, it's beautiful. <laughs> I hope you get to see the butterflies. So I brought my amazing, beautiful piece, Amazonite, that I am so grateful to be the steward of. A beautiful piece that helps me when I'm around electronics, but it also works with the heart, the higher heart, speaking truth from your heart. So. Okay, so my topic today is about fear, but first off I want to start with the ego. And so I want to take it back and let's talk about ego, because I had an experience this weekend which was amazing. In my blog and social media all over the place, I have talked about ego versus the heart fear versus love for a while like a while now everyone that knows me knows I am the biggest advocate for love and the heart living and speaking from the heart making choices out of love instead of fear and in the past I have talked about even when you feel afraid or feel fear to still make the active choice out of love. Make a decision out of love, not out of fear, even if you feel it. There was a huge call in 2014, so I, I felt this intuitive thought come to me and I had to rush and make my New Year's Eve video and I spoke about that, choosing love and working through that for the entire year of 2014. So. I can provide the link below if you want. But let's dive right in. So I had an experience this weekend that really showed me that, that is so beautiful, the butterfly. Oh my gosh. I hope you get to see her. She's a beautiful orange butterfly that keeps flying around. Um, I had this experience this weekend that showed me experience is the one of the best teachers ever. You can read, you can go to school, you could listen to teachers all you want, you could listen to me all you want, but until you experience it, you won't know what it feels like, you won't really be able to a attach like a concept, a thought to that, that feeling or knowing. Once you experience something, you know it. That's a great random fact for you. Okay, so this weekend, this weekend, I got to experience my ego trying to protect me, protect me. The ego is there, it's like a program, it's there to keep us safe. But what it does is it uses fear. Ego uses fear to protect us, protect. I'm gonna keep saying that with air quotation marks, okay? So, let me dive into the experience I had and then we can attach this concept and I'll, you know, tie it in, weave it together. So, I'm laughing because the butterfly, she's so beautiful. Okay, so, Thursday or Friday, I just had this Oh, this strong urge to go out in nature on Saturday. Saturday 
was August 8th, 2015. What many are calling the Lion's Gate. But I just felt this strong urge within me to be outside, not inside at all. I wanted to be in nature alone. Yeah, right now I'm alone. I'm alone. But the urge I was having was to go sleep somewhere in nature, I alone. Knew deep down inside that I was supposed to be alone, but for some reason I tried inviting a friend on Saturday and even inviting my stepmom, which none of it worked out. So I knew that I was supposed to go alone. So I decided to look up this random place I had never been, a free campsite. I hope you got to see that. A free campsite, um, a place to go, camp, get on the lake with a boat if you have, and you don't have to pay, you don't need to make reservations, nothing. Now, let me tell you that I have never done this before. I have never gone and stayed out in nature alone, as in camped out. I haven't even camped anywhere since I was a kid. So this was completely new to go to a place I've never been before, camp out, sleep in my truck, and just rough it. But just to tune in, but do it alone and stay the night. And I was really excited. Deep down I was really excited. I was so excited to just go and be somewhere where I could just hear Mother Earth and tune in and watch the stars and tune into the cosmos at night. So, since this is new, you know, of course I was excited. But once I hopped in the car, this is so cute. Once I hopped in the car, and started driving. It was so weird. All these thoughts started coming into my head really crazy. Like, what if thoughts? Oh my God. What if something is wrong with the tires? What if the tire pops off? Oh my gosh. What, what if the brakes don't work? Because I recently had the brakes fixed. What if this? What if that? Like, all these random what if thoughts and I immediately recognize this I'm waiting for this little ant I'm trying to see where it's going I recognize this kind of thought pattern the what if thought pattern because in college I had anxiety and depression and what if thoughts and what if thinking is associated with anxiety? So I recognize this right away and I, I'm sitting there almost getting upset with myself. I'm like, Trina, you, you're not depressed or anxious anymore. You don't even live from fear anymore. What is this? What, what, what is this? Where is this coming from? This can't, like, why? And so I'm sitting there driving and I'm really like evaluating it and like these thoughts are just coming in and I'm like, and then I like try to push it away and just like, I'm gonna have fun. I wasn't really convincing myself because it just kept coming back. Oh, I hope you got to see the butterfly. <laughs> um, so I kept, you know, these thoughts kept coming in or what if this would have thought? And then all of a sudden I, I said, okay, I know that this is from fear, okay? I already know this. Wait, wait, wait. It's coming from my ego. Oh, holy shit. It's because I've never done this before. I've never, I have never even driven that truck that far before. Um, it's a truck that I, I'm just, I've just started driving this year and it's not a new truck. It's an older 90s SUV. Um, that was awesome. So I knew it was my ego trying to protect me protect but it was using fear it was using fear to keep me from going and when that came into my my head and I that realization hit me I laughed oh my god I laughed my ass off I was laughing I was like holy shit it's crazy because you know I've talked about this I've talked about ego versus the heart love versus 
you know, fear versus love. Sorry, got a little confused there. But I finally saw it from a completely different perspective. I, it's like it shifted my perspective to understand and experience it in a different way, a different dimension. And once that, once it clicked, I could not stop laughing. I kid you not, I could not stop laughing. I was laughing so much, I cranked up the music and just began cruising the open road and I felt so free. Oh my God, I felt so free. Because I knew, I knew what the ego was trying to do. So I, instead of fighting it, instead of fighting with it, I just stepped back and just let it go and chose how I wanted to feel because I was already excited before I got in the car. I was really excited. And so then once I just had that realization about my ego, I just tuned back into my and excitement and my laughing so hard because I figured out the ego secret. I figured it out. And so in that moment, I made the choice. I made the choice to be excited. I made the choice to still feel joy and excitement and anticipation and love, pure love and gratitude and free. And once I made the choice, you know, you exist. Once you make a choice, you choose how you want to exist. You choose what you get to feel. You make that choice. But when you're unaware, it's harder to make that choice. It, you know, fear is historically shown that fear is used to manipulate humans. Fear is used in politics. It's used in the home when raising children. Fear is used in religion. Fear is used in, the, in your mainstream news. Fear. <laughs> All right, so this is a little exercise that I want you to try. Like in my other video, I asked you to tune in and see how you feel throughout the day. Be mindful. Try to pick at least just one day or a few hours, whatever works for you, but choose a time or a day, whatever, or try and make this a daily thing. You want to be as mindful as possible, but check in with yourself on how you're feeling, but also try to be aware and mindful of your thoughts, the thought streams coming into your head and the feelings that you're feeling and ask yourself, where is this coming from? Is it coming from my ego or my heart? Is it from fear or is it from love? Which one's it coming from? Find out if your thoughts, your words, your actions are coming from your ego or your heart, fear or love. And once you become aware of that and how often you are making decisions out of fear, you can start to be more mindful and choose better, make better choices from your heart, from love. And at first, you're probably gonna still fear, feel the fear, but still make the conscious choice to make a decision out of love. And then I hope, oh my God, I hope one day, I hope that you can experience what I experienced because I have known about making choices out of love regardless if I feel fear, but this time it was like a total shift. It was, it was not, now making the choice that I don't even have to feel that fear. And since then I have been, <laughs> in, not in my own world, and yes, my own universe, because because I get to create what I want. I've known you know, how to manifest and things like that and just, and living from the heart. And I, I honestly don't exist well in, in 3D and third dimension, like living and thinking. But this was like mind blowing. Since then, I have been free, even more free than I, I've been living. I already feel like I live such a free life, but this takes it to a completely different level. I now understand I am completely free, and I hope that everyone can feel this, this freedom that I finally got to feel. We make that choice. Oh God, it's, I, I hope that this is resonating with someone because it's so hard to put this 
into human language sometimes. Some things you really do have to experience. And this, it gave me that experience. And I'm so glad, I am so grateful that I had this happen. Because ever since then I've been laughing. Oh my God, I've been laughing. And of course, like, like I said, the past few days my ego was trying. It's trying to get its way back in, but it's lost control, like complete control. So none of it is working. None of its tactics are working. It's hilarious. It's hilarious because I'm above and beyond now. And it just, it, it, the fear, I, <laughs> I really don't have to tune in at all. Like, it, oh God, it's so hard to explain. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh man. Um, so I hope you can try that exercise that I mentioned about tuning in with yourself and seeing where your thoughts and your actions and your words are coming from just to help you figure out and see where you know the majority of the time or how often you are living and existing from your heart or your ego just to give you an idea and then you can start making that conscious effort into making better decisions conscious aware decisions from love instead of fear and I want you to feel free I want you to be free this is what we we're supposed to be free we're supposed to we're not supposed to be controlled. We're not supposed to be manipulated. That's what you will hear us talking about. It's time for a new way of living. It is time for higher consciousness on the planet. I am so excited. I'm so excited to have experienced this. I'm so grateful. So grateful to have experienced this. I'm so glad. I want to add that I'm so glad that I did it. I had the most beautiful time there. It was so beautiful I'm gonna share the photos on my blog and on my social media oh my god it was so beautiful and I tuned in meditated um, I climbed on top of the truck and watched the stars saw movement up there too oh yeah it was amazing oh my god it was so amazing um, so yeah um, I'm glad I did it it was one of the best things I've ever done, ever done in my life. Um, and I've done some really cool things. You know, I, I, I've gone to some different countries and it's this, something this simple is up there with traveling to like Italy or something because it just, the lesson that came along with it, but just being alone and tuning in and it felt so natural, like being out there by myself with mother nature and just being there free, away from technology, feeling the earth and the mud and water beneath my feet, being out under open sky, under the stars, no better feeling. I'm free and I want you to be free too. This is where we're headed. Higher consciousness, fifth dimension, living. May the light guide you. I hope you got to see the butterflies. They're free too. Namaste.